What up bosses, your main man MBR, going to be bringing you another short little unboxing video today, it feels like Christmas, really nice for me because obviously being, uh, I'm 24 years old now, for any of you bosses that didn't know I am getting up, getting old, give me 25 soon, I d didn't get anything for Christmas literally whatsoever, I think I got two sweatshirts from my mum which I told her to take back because I didn't really want them, and I, I said to her, you know, don't waste your money on me, I'm old enough now, I've got money coming, that I can buy whatever I want generally computer stuff and that is what brings us on to the unboxing today following on from my book unboxing yesterday where I got my keyboard and mouse which I've been using really really enjoying them I might do a review if you boss are interested in seeing that if you're thinking about upgrading really nice the mouse is lovely but today we have a uh, something a little bit different uh, computer related I guess but a little bit different from our PC master race and yeah, it should be quite exciting um, so once I've unboxed this what I will be doing or a video may probably be up uh, within a day or so I'm going to actually do a whole video of my setup uh, it's pretty much complete to where I want it now but obviously when I was down in my garage which I did some of the videos last year and that was my ultimate so it was a lot bigger I had all my, my big TV down there and I could have a big I had my sofa and once my arcade machine's done it would be super sick down there but it's too cold so come the summer I'll do another video Channel that. So I think my mum's kind of, uh, there's like a little hole in here, I don't know if my mum's like tried peeking through it, she's probably like seeing all these boxes coming in and she's just come back from frickin' Thailand and uh, wasting all his money on all this stuff. So, uh, oh, that's that. The beauty when you do unboxing things is the bubble wrap that comes through it. Let's just, let's just get the help out. This is, it's just like bubble wrap up. Oh my god, this is like. They literally like sellotape that. I don't. I really don't know what they've done here. Like they've actually like glued the package, just glued it all together. Like what the fuck? Literally, the bubble wrap is actually just. It is literally it is actually just glued. I haven't got my big knife for me. My mum took it away. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Whoa, I'm getting those muscles out now. Feel like he man. Yeah, literally. What? What a mess. That is literally just like. Quite an interesting pack. I guess that's the way the package is done. That looks things. So what we do have, or I guess you probably guessed it by the title, what it is anyway, is the Hubarg. I believe I pronounced that right. I probably, probably haven't. And if the uh, camera is going to zoom in that, I say it just zooms in my my face. It's pretty sexy, but I really don't know why. It doesn't like that too much. It's the Hubarg HD PVR2 gaming edition. So basically, what this is used for is I use fraps on my computer. Don't need that. This is used for recording your console. Whilst I have my PS4, and uh, you might be able to see it in the corner. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is that after that we've talked about this, do a setup video as well uh, for any bosses that are interested. Because I've been watching some of the setup videos, I haven't, or I'm trying to find reviews about what this is all about, and they've been absolutely crap. People just don't really talk about like enough, just go into enough detail about things like how to actually set up and the benefits of this. Because there's this one, which was I believe £99. It was on sale. That's why I got it. Even though I don't really play the PS4, but Ratchet and Clank's coming out, and I'd like to do some videos of that. Maybe some COD, even though I play on my PC but I kind of enjoy it on console a bit more, I guess people are newbie and not so many hackers. <laughs> um, but there's an Extreme Edition, Ultimate Edition for another £30, £130, which I thought was a bit steep really. Um, but I think from what I understand, and there's, like I say, there's nothing real clear cut on the internet. The, the, there is, it's for actually recording your computer as well, but like I say, perhaps you know, there's not a need for that. But what I will show you, um, this was the older model I, I had. I originally had the Hubarg. HD PVR1. Uh, it's this little grey thing here. Uh, quite old school. It used to work with the PS3 and it works with all your sort of Nintendo, Sega Saturns, and all your old school uh, games as long as there's a connection for it. Uh, so obviously there's no HDMI on the back. Um, but what I used to do to, to get around this, but for some reason it doesn't work on the PS4, I'm not too sure why. Uh, <laughs> it involves a freaking lot of cables, I tell you that. So basically what you have to have is you have an in and out. So I have this set of cables, these bad boys will go into the machine and then they would then come out. Uh, I'd had a, a special PS3 one, similar to this, but the PS3 I think there was a different connector you could use. Um, so I have this and then that then goes into the TV. So you've got one going into the PS3, so like I say this would go into the PS3, this would go back to the machine, then this would go into the machine, then go into my TV, then by using a uh, Firewire cable I believe they're called, I want to be in this. That then goes in my computer, you record it off your computer. Which is pretty much the same for this. But this the old one, even though I had the HDMI there, it doesn't work with the PS4. I don't know don't really know why. I think I'm not sure if it was because uh, like Sony were trying to crack down on it, but then again this one's come out um, and it works on it, so 
I'm not really sure how the idea behind that. I got that. I hate these freaking labels. They put on there. I've got no nails whatsoever. I think we've got it. So uh, this is meant to actually do up to 1080p. You know, I just said that that one did up 1080p. I did a Dante's Inferno walkthrough a long time ago when I first got it, and. Um, I didn't know how to actually use the machine, so when I recorded, I said I said labeled the videos. They were all in HD. I did a lot of parts, and they got a lot of a lot of views from it. Um, at one point, I was 15th most viewed on YouTube UK, and that's about five years ago on a different channel. Um, and it, yeah, it was getting crazy views. And I was saying it was HD, and all these people were like, "Oh, I need to put HD in the title to get more views," uh, which I hadn't. Uh, but I didn't realize the video had to. I had to. I was playing the game in HD, but it wasn't recording in HD, uh, which really kind of sucked because I think they would have got a lot more views. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Like this one, that one could. I don't know if this. I don't think it says it could do up to 60 frames per second. But I don't think the consoles actually run at 60 frames per second. <laughs> God damn consoles. Um, car. This is. Hey, Fox. This this thing is actually like Fort Knox. This is. What the fuck? I don't really want to. I don't want to rip it because you never know if you ever have to send anything back. But you might need it. I really do not know. How they pack it up. So, all right, inside our box, box, we originally have we have a HDMI cable, standard. Uh, you'll need that to set up between your PS4 and your TV or your Xbox One. You can do it with Xbox One, but this video is going to be set up around uh, the PC. Bar wire cable connects your uh, cons uh, connects the actual hub to your computer. Uh, the last one, I'm going to have to dig out the last cable, well, to be honest it's not so bad. The last one had a really long ass cable, which was really nice because I could have my computer set on the other side of the room. I could play on my big TV, because I'm going to use my monitors to play console, but I used to like play on my 50 inch TV. And you could have it all the way over there, which was really beautiful. Um, and then also, here we go, this was actually, this is actually what I was on about. Uh, I didn't actually have the correct wire there. You have this. Um, I'm going to take out the packages so you can see better. This is originally what I had. I've got it somewhere downstairs because it was what I used for my hoobar, for the original hoobar. It's pretty cool they actually give you this free. So I, I had to buy mine, um, I believe I had to buy it separately. I, yeah, I had to buy I went to game and bought it, yeah, which was, but so I had to buy so many wires that hoobar thing and then trying to convert it. That then takes you out to go through this monitor. It was it, flipping so much money spent on it. Now they've changed it. So basically, what you have is these bad boys, which I guess we'll have a look in a second. I can go on that. I don't know, but this would be what was going to be the old one. And then you had your this was your PS3 connector, PS2. So this still goes in the old PS3. And you still get HD because of this, but I'm not sure if it's as good a definition as um, thing we do. Xbox uh, 360, and I believe this was the Wii. I believe it was the Wii. Yeah, definitely the Wii. Uh, so you can actually still record, obviously record the your old consoles, which is super cool. You know, I've got my PS3 over in the corner, uh, which runs PS2, PS1 games and everything, which is super cool. And the PS4 not being backwards compatible, you know. But so that's that. Um, ah, there we go. Here we have. Um, so actually, yeah, to do with uh, what I just showed you, there's this. What looks like it converts those colours into the actual. I'll go in the machine. Yeah, I didn't think they had a slot for that. So that's basically that. So you can record, like you say, your PS3 and stuff for it, which is super cool. I guess if you want to record your PS3, why not? Maybe I might do some of that. I'm not sure. I've got so many games for it. Um, power adapter, standard. You know, need one of those. I'm gonna run out of flipping power supply. Uh, Spaces I don't care. So, the moment of truth. We have our Hubarg. Looks a lot smaller already, straight out. Pair it in size, so nice and black. I think I like things black. Uh, just look a bit smarter. So, size wise, you can kind of see it's pretty much like half the size of the original one. The original size didn't really bother me, you know, it's kind of out of the way, but I can stick this on top of my. I can actually probably slot under one of my things, but anyway. Um, so what we actually have a cool little thing is, um, or it's kind of cool in some sense I guess, but I don't know if I necessarily use it because when I'm recording I literally just click on record and it can record everything, but it has this little button here uh, which wasn't on the old one, you press this and if you say you're in game you're like oh my god I'm going to do something crazy, snap that, ba boom and it starts recording, but to be honest if I'm going to be on my console I'm going to be recording straight away anyway, but you know nonetheless it's handy. But sometimes, but most likely though, if you are playing on your console, you're gonna probably be like here in your TV. I like, luckily my setup's here because I'm blind, so I've got to be next like five inches away from my computer screen. But so if I'm playing on my TV.
TV and you're like I don't know, a couple of feet away, you're not just going to be able to go over there. You go boom, like, oh my god, I'm a guy, get a headshot, and then run over there, boom, and then you're, you're dead. So, that was the Hubug. What we have on the back, we've got a USB Avian, which would have been to do with uh, that bad boy down there. Um, power supply and HDMI, HDMI out. So basically, again, the idea is, um, which I'll show you in a sec, we'll cut it and I'll show you how to actually set it up. But the HDMI goes in here. They've only gave me one HDMI, which makes sense because you should have a HDMI for your PS4 anyway. So one goes in here, one goes in my monitor, GG, and I'll show you what how it actually sets on the PS4. So yeah, that is it. Uh, that is the unboxing the Hubarg, and I will now show you magically how to set it up. Okay, first things first, let's plug in the power supply into the Hubarg as shown. Nice and easy step. And then on top of that, you want to be plugging in your USB firewire cable into your Hubarg and into your computer. Switching on your Hubarg at this point, don't worry about the HDMI cables. You will need an additional one, but we'll come to that a little bit later. So with your USB now plugged into your computer, your computer will recognize it, but you'll have no drivers installed. Inside the box come a CD. You want to place that CD into your computer now. As you can see, the on screen steps that I'm showing you, it will bring up Hubog's software package. Once your PC is booted up the disk, you'll be given a selection of languages to choose from. I've gone for English myself as I'm English, would you believe it? So following on from that, you're then given three steps. Step one, check your cable connection. Basically, you can click on this to see you've got the cable connections right, which I've already shown you, and it's pretty straightforward, but you can double check that you've got an image there. But most importantly, what you want to go on to next is step two, where you will install the HDR PBR2 drivers. Simple enough, just click it and it will run. It takes a minute or two. With this completed, you now want to move on to step 3, installing the actual software. As the CD is quite old, there is actually an update available if you're connected to the internet. I'd recommend doing so. This will open up Internet Explorer. As you can see, I select the first download option and then click and run so it will automatically start my install. Now your setup will continue. Make sure that the first box on the first page as you can see here is untick. So you want to make sure that it is automatically updating. Click next. It's going to do a bit of installing. Click next once again and we'll do a bit more installing and select the system that you want. I've gone for PS4. Gives you a little bit of information about it that it's configured and GG. Your program is now successfully installed but this is only for Hubug. So the next part now is actually setting up your PS4. Which is pretty straightforward. So at this point in time, you want to make sure that the HDMI cable is going straight from your PS4 into your television, not through the Hubarg at the moment. On PS4, as seen on screen, greater system, and then you're going to have a box that is already ticked, enable HDCP. You want to untick that, and then on the next page, click yes. The screen's going to go black for a couple of seconds. At this point, you then want to turn off your PlayStation 4, plug your, take the HDMI cable out of your computer screen, television, whatever you're using. Plug that into the Hubarg where it says in, and then with your additional HDMI cable that you're going to have, you want to plug that into out, and then link that into your television screen. So having followed all my previous steps, you have put the wires into the Hubarg, connected to your PS4 and television plus PC. Along with that, you've already installed the software, so that means you can now open up the Hubarg recording software. Whilst doing so, you'll be able to see that it's recognizing the PS4. With your PS4 turned on, you will know there's probably about a five second delay from that screen to actually going onto your PC, but that's not going to be an issue when it's recording. And there you go, there's the PlayStation logo, you know we're now up and running. GG. What I will now talk you through is just a quick couple of settings on what you want to make sure are set when recording. So on the capture page, there's two things we want to look at. We have video in and audio in on the left hand side, which are drop down boxes. We want to make sure that they are both selected to HDMI. And then at the bottom, we have video quality. You want to move that to very high at 14. That's the most you can go and change variable to constant. This means that you'll be getting the best recording possible for whatever game you're playing at 1080p 60 fps even though i'm not sure consoles actually record it that much but it will record to the maximum whatever and then on to edit once you've actually captured something so you just hit that big red button on capture it then go into your edit and you want to then just click on that and export it to mdmf once it's exported to mdmf you can then actually drag it into some software I use Adobe Premiere Pro and here you can edit it there's obviously lots of other things like Sony Vegas even Windows Movie Maker if you wish and finally in settings what you can do is you can change the recording directory if you wish to do so so there we go guys GG we have come to the end of the video I hope you bosses who haven't got a Hubarg have found it interesting in the actual unboxing and how it actually works to anyone who does have it hopefully you've found the installation useful if you haven't actually been able to set up yours properly Anyway, bosses, take it easy and have a great day. Peace.